Before we dive into the art of reading people, we have a quick reminder for you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you won't miss out on any of our insightful videos. We've got a ton of exciting content coming up that you won't want to miss. And if you find the video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more content for you. Now, let's get started with understanding the art of reading people. Ever wondered how to read people like an open book? Brainy Glow presents. The art of reading people isn't confined to psychologists and detectives. It's a skill that can benefit us all in our everyday lives. Imagine being able to gauge someone's intentions, to understand their thoughts and feelings just by observing them. It can lead to improved relationships, as you'll be able to communicate more effectively and empathize more deeply with those around you. The benefits don't stop there. It can also lead to better decision-making as you'll have a clearer understanding of the people you're dealing with. And let's not forget about the enhanced negotiation skills. Being able to read people can give you the upper hand in business, in politics, and even in your personal life. So are you ready to unlock this powerful skill? Let's dive into the 15 psychological tips that will help you read anyone instantly. Before we delve into the first five tips, it's important to understand why they work. We're about to explore the fascinating world of human psychology. You see, every human behavior, every gesture, every word is driven by our thoughts, feelings, and intentions. It's like a code waiting to be cracked. And the key to this code? Psychology. By understanding the psychology behind our actions, we can start to predict and interpret them. This is the foundation of reading people. Now, it's not about manipulation or deceit. It's about empathy, understanding, and effective communication. It's about seeing beneath the surface, perceiving what's unsaid, and understanding people on a deeper level. So, as we go through the 15 tips, remember it's not just about observing behaviors, it's about understanding why these behaviors occur. It's about unveiling the human mind. Now let's dive deeper with the first five tips. Welcome to Brainy Glow. Let's start with the first five tips. First off, we're diving into the world of body language. You see, our bodies often spill the beans even when our lips are sealed. Pay close attention to posture, gestures, and facial expressions. These non-verbal cues can be a goldmine of information about a person's emotional state, confidence level, and intentions. Now, tip two involves listening to the tone of voice. It's not just about what people say, but how they say it. A person's tone can reveal hidden emotions, such as frustration, excitement, or even deceit. So, tune your ears to pick up these subtle vocal nuances. Moving on to the third tip, observing word choice. The words people choose to use can provide insights into their thought process, values, and personality. For instance, someone who frequently uses we instead of I might be a team player or someone who values collaboration. Our fourth tip is all about personal space. Different people have different comfort zones. Some like to keep their distance, while others are more comfortable with close proximity. Noting how someone manages their personal space can tell you a lot about their comfort level and their relationship with others around them. Lastly, for our fifth tip, we're looking at reactions. Observe how people react to certain situations or news. Do they panic easily? Are they calm under pressure? Their reactions can give you a glimpse into their coping mechanisms and emotional intelligence. So there you have it, the first five tips on reading people like an open book. We've covered body language, tone of voice, word choice, personal space, and reactions. Remember, these tips are just the starting point. With practice, you'll be able to interpret these cues more accurately and quickly. That's the first batch of tips. Ready for more? Now, we move on to the next five tips to deepen your understanding of people. Firstly, let's talk about the power of the eyes. They are the windows to the soul, after all. When someone maintains eye contact, it shows they're engaged and interested. But excessive eye contact can be a sign of dominance or even aggression. On the flip side, if someone avoids eye contact, they could be feeling insecure or trying to hide something. Next up, we have micro-expressions. These are those tiny, split-second facial expressions that flash across a person's face before they have a chance to hide their true feelings. It's like a quick glimpse into their subconscious. These can be very telling, but are also easy to miss if you're not paying close attention. Third on our list is observing people's habits. We all have our quirks, and these can be quite revealing. For instance, someone who constantly checks their phone might be anxious or easily distracted. 
A person who is always punctual could be very organized and values their time and yours. The fourth tip is to look for inconsistencies in behavior. If someone is usually outgoing and talkative, but suddenly becomes quiet and withdrawn, something might be up. People can't always control their behavior, especially when they're under stress or experiencing strong emotions. So look out for any changes from their norm. Our fifth and final tip for this section is to observe how people interact with others. Are they respectful and considerate, or do they tend to talk over others and dismiss their ideas? How someone treats others, especially those they perceive as less powerful than them, can tell you a lot about their character. With these tips, you're becoming more adept at reading people. Let's move to the final set. We are now at our final set of tips. Are you ready to master the art of reading people? Let's dive right in, starting with our 11th tip. Always consider cultural differences. In the vast tapestry of humanity, cultural backgrounds greatly influence how people express their thoughts and emotions. What might be considered assertive in one culture could be viewed as rude in another. So when reading people, it's crucial to understand their cultural context to avoid misinterpretation. Moving on to our 12th tip, understand the role of gender in communication. Just like culture, gender can also play a significant role in how people communicate. Remember that societal norms and expectations can shape the way individuals express themselves. Therefore, it's important not to make assumptions based on gender stereotypes, but rather take into account the broader societal context. The 13th tip is to note how people handle stress. Stressful situations can strip away the facades we sometimes put up, revealing our true selves. By observing how someone reacts under pressure, you can gain valuable insights into their character, resilience, and coping mechanisms. Our 14th tip is observing how people behave when they believe no one is watching. It's in these unguarded moments that people often show their true colors. By being observant, you can catch glimpses of their authentic selves, beyond the persona they present to the world. Finally, our 15th tip is understanding the role of self-perception in behavior. How people view themselves can greatly influence their behavior and interactions with others. If someone sees themselves as a victim, they may exhibit defensive or passive-aggressive behavior. Conversely, if they view themselves as a leader, they might display more assertive and decisive actions. With these final tips, you are well on your way to becoming a master at reading people. So, we have covered 15 psychological tips to read people like an open book. We started by understanding the power of first impressions and the importance of observing body language. We delved into the subtleties of eye contact, the art of listening, and the role of intuition. We then explored the significance of recognizing personal space, understanding the concept of mirroring, and the impact of tone and voice. Our journey continued as we discovered how to interpret facial expressions, the value of noticing peculiar habits, and the importance of being aware of one's environment. We learned about the relevance of emotional intelligence, the clues given by a person's attire, and the insights provided by their social media presence. Mastering these skills requires practice and patience. Each person is a unique mix of experiences, emotions, and traits. Remember, reading people is an art, not a science. Keep observing, stay curious, and you'll be amazed at what you can understand about others.